here we are, gathered at a time of a, a pivotal moment for our country, for this Congress, and how we go forward. So there are two equities to be weighed. One equity is the integrity of the Supreme Court. The other equity to be weighed is the respect that we have for women when they come forward. Neither of those equities is well served by the process the Republican leadership in the Senate has put forth. <coughs> it is not in the interest of seeking the truth, to promote the integrity, or to respect the privacy, as I mentioned. The decision Dr. Blasey Ford, Deborah Ramirez, and Julie Swetnick made to come forward took guts. We all support their courageous choice to tell their story. In 19... Speaker, I also want to ask you about former Vice President Joe Biden and about this allegation that is being made by one of his former Senate staffers. Um, do you think that it is time for Vice President Biden to address this head on himself? Well, I, I have great sympathy for any women who bring forth an allegation. I'm a big, strong supporter of the Me Too movement. I, I think it's been a great, made a great contribution uh, to our country. And, a, in, and I do um, uh, support Joe Biden. I'm satisfied uh, with how he has uh, responded. I know him. I was proud to endorse him the other day on Monday. Very proud to endorse him. Uh, and so I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, I mean, he hasn't, to be clear, he hasn't addressed it. His campaign has addressed it, but he has not directly addressed it. Should he directly? In 91, it took seven House women to demand the Senate consider Anita Hill's testimony. At the very least, this hearing should be postponed. I'll never forget watching the blank faces of the men questioning Professor Hill dismissing her very serious, very credible allegations. Today, the parallels between Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh are clear. We fully support calls for an FBI investigation. It is an outright injustice that the president and members of his party have dismissed the Bureau's role in such investigations. But let me remind them, if they're listening, and oh, they better be listening to the millions of women watching what they do in the coming days, that even the publicly address it. You know, it's a, a, a matter that he has to deal with, but I am impressed with the people who worked for him at the time saying they ever, absolutely never heard one uh, uh, iota of information about this, nobody ever brought forth a, a claim or had anybody else tell them about such a claim. Uh, but again, we have a, um, a, an important election at hand, one that is, I think, one of the most important ones that we've had. We say that every election, but I think this one is the most crucial. And I, I supported him because he's a person of great values, integrity, authenticity, imagination, uh, and a connection uh, to the American people. He understands... Bush senior administration in 1991 directed the FBI to investigate Professor Hill's accusation against Justice Thomas. Uh, we insist on an investigation. It's not so, Mr. President, do not tell us that the FBI does not want to investigate. You do not want them to investigate. Judge Kavanaugh has offered his version of events on television. Of course, he has not offered to take a lie detector test, and we have not heard from him under oath or any sworn affidavit. If high moral and ethical standards are expected of ordinary citizens, judges who sit in judgment of ordinary citizens should be held to even higher standards. And the kitchen table uh, issues of America's working families. His father lost his job when he was a boy. He knows what that feels like for a family and how they're going to pay their bills, their health bills, the education of their children, supporting the seniors in their families and the rest. Uh, it's just a, he, he's the personification of hope 
and optimism for our country. And I was proud uh, to endorse him. And America needs a person like Joe Biden with his, again, his integrity and his vision for the future. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, we really are... So there's one violation, the physical violation that happened. The second violation is the invasion of privacy and the uh, assault on the person who comes forward. This has to stop in our country. We believe in due process. We believe in finding the truth. That's why we need an investigation. The idea that women will be heard and be listened to. There is also due process and uh, the fact that Joe Biden is Joe Biden. Uh, we, there's been s statements from his campaign, or not his campaign, but his former employees who ran his offices and the rest, that there was never any record of this. There was never any record. And that uh, nobody ever came forward or nobody ever came forward to say something about it apart from the principal involved. I am so proud, the happiest day for me this week was to support Joe Biden for President of the United States. He's a person of great integrity, a great concern for the American people. He authored the Violence Against Women Act uh, when he was the chair of the Judiciary Committee uh, in the 90s. He has been an advocate for funding it all along since then, and I, uh, uh, I believe that